Do you want to get better at Vim? If I were you, I'd want to learn Vim before this homeless man does. He already knows grep, so it's only a matter of time. So far, we've been deleting words with the backspace, which is kind of embarrassing. I wouldn't want to be caught doing that personally, so it's time to learn a better way. First off, we'll learn about X. When in normal mode, you can use X to delete the character under the cursor. This is really useful if you want to just remove a character without leaving normal mode, or perhaps just deleting a very short word. That's pretty basic though, so here's how you can delete stuff in even better ways. By the way, last time we covered really basic Vim stuff, so if you haven't seen that video yet, either click on the card in the top right or check out the link down below. Today we'll be covering the D operator, which stands for delete, and it allows you to delete stuff in a myriad of ways. Remember from the last video where I taught you that you can use multipliers? So, uh, 5w will move you five words forward. The D operator can be used similarly. Let's try the following, dd. As you can see, this deletes the entire line. This is very useful, but what if you want to delete just the current sentence and not the full line? Here's where Vim can get really cool. You can actually do DAS, which stands for Delete Around Sentence. And if you look at the bottom right there, you'll see that it shows the keys that I'm doing, just so you can follow along better. So DAS not only removes the sentence, but also the space after the period. This works well if you want to remove a sentence, but don't want to replace it with anything else. If you do want to replace it, you can do DIS or delete inside sentence. This will delete the sentence itself, but leave the space in case you want to get right to typing. This inside and outside sentence is pretty useful, but guess what? It gets better. What if you want to delete an entire paragraph? Yeah, it's just DAP for delete around paragraph or DIP for delete inside paragraph, depending on whether you want to keep the empty lines around your paragraph. So if we go here, DAP, that just removes the entire paragraph. And the paragraph can also be a sentence, so that is counted as a paragraph. Or, you know, let's say that we want to just rewrite this, we can just do this and then we can do whatever. Also, bonus points if you can figure out who this is, uh, who I'm quoting here. <laughs> I think a few of you might know. If we take a quick step back, we can do the same for words. You can do DIW to delete inside the word, or DAW to delete the word and the space before it. This is incredibly useful, and I find myself using DAW all the time. I tend to write quite a lot, and so if I'm, uh, let's say I'm, I'm looking for a sentence and I think, you know, I don't want this word and this word, I can just do that. And it very quickly removes them, as opposed to, on a normal editor, you do something like this or, you know, before, or before learning this, you might have just, you know, if you remember, E goes to the end, so you could do this, but DIW or DAW is so much more useful. And also, just like with other motions, if you want to delete multiple words in a row, you can do, let's say, a free DAW. Uh, for example, and that will delete the next three words, including the spaces around them. So if we do free D, uh, D A W, bam. So it, it should remove, so free D A, so it should remove an advancement in. Yeah, there you go. If you do free D I W, there we go, it will delete all the spaces except for the very last one. So it still leaves a little space because you're doing inside and not outside. As you can see, many of the motions and operators in Vim have very intuitive names, which will help you remember them. Although, once you have the muscle memory, 
you won't have to worry about the names, they'll just be ingrained. The reason why DAW and DIW are so useful is that you can be anywhere in the word and they work. If you use DW, which stands for delete word, so like that, it actually deletes from where you are until the end of the word. So if you start at the end of the word and you do DW, it will remove the word. However, if you're in the middle of a word, let's say you're on C and you do DW, it removes the rest of the word and the space at the end. This can be useful if you only want to partially delete a word and then insert something else. However, I find that, at least in my case, it's actually easier just to delete the entire word and, and then just retype it than to remove letters partially. So I prefer to just do, you know, if I want to change this, I'll just do DIW and then I'll just, you know, or if I want to remove it completely, I can just do DAW and bam. I think that's, I think that's a lot better than just, than, you know, going to the start and then doing DAW. That's just me though. If this makes sense for me, as I can type fairly fast, like in this ASMR typing video card in the top right, I'm sure you'll come up with your own workflow. However, in my case, DAW or DIW are the ones that I use the most at least when I intend just to delete the word and not add anything else. Alternatively, if you want to delete a word back, we can do a DB. Since you recall that the B motion goes one word back from the previous video. However, if you do DB inside of a word, that will delete to the start of the word. Again, this isn't very useful for me personally. I don't find myself using this a lot. However, there might be a workflow for you where that could be very useful. Now, is there a better way to do this if you actually want to type something immediately after? So for example, let's say that you want to remove the word goes. So you would do uh, DIS. Oh. So for example, let's say you want to remove the word goes. Right? So you would do DAS. Oh my god, not. So for example, let's say you want to remove the word goes, right? So you do DAW, and, or you would do uh, DIW, and then you would just start typing. You could do that, but is there a better way to do this? Yes, there is. However, that will be covered in the next video. Wink, wink. <laughs> if you'd like to be notified when the next video comes out, make sure to subscribe. If you're curious about what I use to make these videos, including my lovely keyboard, I have left links down below for your convenience. That's it for today, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.